This conference will now be recorded. Uh, anything else you have announced? The branch number, system design, when you consider. Okay, what is the first therapeutic indication? Generally, I think I told something about chronic use and acute. Did I tell this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, then, that's the reason I always tell you people to jot down. Okay, so whenever, like, especially in companies, for example, yes, whenever a pharmaceutical company have to launch a product, they always look into this. The first thing is therapeutic indication. Okay, which kind of drugs are suitable now? I already gave you the hint now. The one main spot. What are the two words that I use? Yes. Somebody knows. What are the two words that I use now? Acute and chronic, sir. Acute and chronic. Ah, which one is suitable for this now? Which chronic, sir. Yeah, 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 chronic. Okay. I am so uh, think reluctant about this. Also, give an example of what you can call the fever. Fever is going to subside in two days. Okay, so developing a transdermal drug delivery system for fever may not work well for a company. On the other hand, if you have a transdermal drug delivery system developed for musculoskeletal disorders, cardiovascular drugs, okay, pain management, what else the same time. So the company know to reap the benefits. What I think I told you. Yes. Okay. So the first thing they may look into is the therapeutic indication, whether it's meant for chronic or acute use. Okay. And second is the drug release profile. What is the drug release profile you are anticipating? And. Uh, other than that, some other features what you need to look at is something like to what extent it adheres right to the skin and how easy it is to apply and how long it has to be applied also is quite important. And again, the fat size and shape is also important. Okay. Uh, so, too huge a patch may not serve well. Okay. And uh, because, as I told you, the dose what you got to administer depends on the size of the patch. Okay, the bigger the size of the patch, okay, the more the dose that can be administered. As simple as that. And even the shape is quite important sometimes. Okay. People usually go for a square one or a round one, rounded is just of preferable. Okay. So and even the packaging cost uh, is quite important. And lastly, the patch cost is one of the white things that what you need to look at. Okay. So these are some of the features what you need to what you need to consider. Uh, and again next uh, next slide is system design. Okay, what does a transdermal drug delivery system is composed of? Basically composes of three particular ingredients what I listed out. One is a polymer, okay, to control the rate sometimes. The other is a drug. Drug is an important component. The other is adhesive. How well it is going to adhere. Very important in case of that term system. As long as it is going to adhere well, drug delivery can happen. Otherwise, it is not going to happen. Okay. Okay. If it stays above the skin without adhering well to the skin, drug delivery is cut off. Okay, that's very important in case of transdermal drug delivery system. It's not like a tablet where, for example, you swallow certain things. Okay, and once it is followed, uh, you can forget it. Then thinking that it shows up the action. But here it is not so. Okay, once the patch is applied, you have to ensure that it is in close contact with the skin. Otherwise, the absorption through the skin will not happen. That's very important. So for that, you need adhesive. And some drugs are not readily permeable through the skin. 
Okay. In those cases, you know you need the entity such as vertical contact permission and handshake. Okay. Which promotes the absorption of the drug to the skin. Other than that, uh, these are other two ones, okay, which ingredients which are a requirement. Okay. So something like a backing layer. A layer which is present at the back of the patch. That is known as a backing layer. And a release liner. Release liner is present in front of the patch. For example, you just take a simple handy plant. Okay. Before application, what is that? There is a release liner. Okay. A thin what you can call it, something like a butter paper. I don't know how many of you have observed it. Okay. You peel out the butter paper and then apply the handy plant onto the skin. You remember? Students remember? Yes or no? Nobody has used the handy plant? Tell me, yes or no? Boys, so uh, how is responding? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Ah, people, only people is answering. Okay, so you would have seen a handy plant. So before applicating the handy plant, what you do is? There is a liner. Liner is something like a butter paper. You remove that, okay, uh, which is present on the surface of the antiplast, and then apply the antiplast. That's what you do. Am I correct? Yes, sir. No? So the medicament yes, is there. Sir. Just below the release liner, there is a medicament. Okay, that is what I need to tell. Anyhow, I think I'll be showing the, all those in the next uh, slide. Okay. When it comes to next, uh, uh, these are the basic components what I can uh, discuss. Now, the types of transdermal drug delivery system, basically these are the types, what are there, what you can find. Uh, one is, uh, what you can call it as, uh, poly uh, polymer membrane formation control system. Polymer membrane formation control system. The other is the same thing like what we discussed with oral. It's almost similar to that. Okay. There, uh, if you can, uh, if you remember, we classified oral drug delivery system, oral control drug delivery system into different classes. Okay. Can you remember the classes? If you can recall what you studied earlier. One or two? One or two categories? One or two subtypes of oral control drug delivery system? Two types my students should remember. What are the two types? Think, think and tell me. All of you. Question is open to all of you. Types of oral control drug delivery system. You understood the question? Nobody remembers? Nobody remembers the type? Yes? Sir, dissolution controlled and diffusion controlled system, sir. Ah, before that, uh, before that, Chetan, I told something uh, basic two kinds of systems. Okay, dissolution controlled, I agree. And diffusion controlled, I agree. What are the, what are the basically made up of? You see, you are talking about mechanisms, ma. Okay, you're talking about mechanism. Am I correct? He said, Am I correct? Yes. What are talking about? Yes. What yes, are they called? What are they called as? Can you recall anything looking at the slide? Looking at the slide, can you make out? Somebody can make out? We should talk, otherwise it's very difficult for me to convey things. Okay. Okay, in front of you I can come and uh, talk. But again, on the online platform or the virtual platform, it's difficult for me to talk. Okay. Yes. Hello? Nobody knows? 
I think I told you about again, again to tell you people. Yeah, I don't know why people even don't jot down actually, or you just log in and do it and go. That's what I see nowadays sometimes. They're not interested uh, to Sir, matrix type and resolve your type, sir. Okay, yeah, Excel is not. That's the only answer which I wanted from you. Okay, so here which can be the reservoir type now, looking at the six, what I put on the, okay, on the slide. Matrix is already there. So the first one is almost a reservoir type. Okay, it's otherwise called as polymer membrane permeation control system. Is it clear now? Are you able to understand? Yes, yes sir. Uh, nothing big about that mark. Okay, always I keep telling farm is always uh, never a rocket science. Okay, only thing how well it is going to work is that is what matters. How simple it is that is what it matters. Okay, so I always advise you people to get involved in product development. Yes, product development is an asset to you people. Okay, it may be the bread and butter for any of you. Once you finish your either your graduation or even your master's, whatever such and that, pharmaceutics is a wonderful branch to the Is it clear? Okay, it's very simple, very straightforward. Okay, yes, there's nothing complicated in that. Only thing, yes, that you come out, you have to think out of, a little, little bit out of box thinking is required. Once you have that in mind, okay, see that you have to do pharmaceutics. In your master's. Is it clear? All of you? Yes? Are you able to understand? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, it's a wonderful branch. Again, I'm telling you. Yes? Uh, very straightforward. So, any drug you can take and develop in any form. That's what you can It can be given in any form, for example. So, the first one has nothing but your reservoir type, the second one is matrix. So the polymer membrane permeation control system are nothing but the reservoir devices, whereas the polymer matrix diffusion, diffusion control system are the matrix devices. So reservoir type and matrix type. But other than that, we have one more very simple system. Again, it's a matrix system. It is called as drug in adhesive matrix. Okay. The simplest form of transdermal type is what you encounter is drug in adhesive matrix. Drug in adhesive matrix. Other than that, there are two other types which you rarely encounter, but these are types which are there, which are known as gradient control and microregular reserve bind. Okay, these are the other two types. Okay, so coming to first one, okay, that is the A. Yes, so the first one is the reservoir type. As you can see, this is a picture in the presentation. What I can see. You are able to see my cursor, the way it's moving. Are you people able to see? Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, so, the polymer matrix uh, permeation control system are basically a reservoir. Okay, as you can see, this is the drug reservoir. Whatever is in gray is the drug reservoir. Okay, surrounding that, there is what you can call it as a rate controlling membrane or rate limiting membrane on one side. So you are applying the patch. This is the stratum cornea, the outermost layer of the skin. Okay, onto which you apply the patch. In between this, this is a layer of adhesive. So adhesive is something like a gum. Okay, so without adhesive, the patch is not going to stick. So it's an essential component, just like your handy plasma. There's nothing to worry. Okay, so this is the adhesive. So you peel out one side of the handy plus. You just please today itself, you please have a look. Go get a handy plus, please have a look. Okay, you peel out the release liner. What you can see is adhesive. You apply the adhesive onto the surface of the skin. The only difference between a handy plus and a transdermal patch is that any difference, as I told you the other day, last class, I think we had a discussion. Yes. Handy plast is applied on uh, the broken skin where it directly enters into the systemic circulation. But in transdermal, it has to cross through the layers. 
Yes. Okay. Another word. To make it very simple, people. Okay. And the flash will apply to open un or cut whatever is cut and done. But a strong term will pass to the flash to the end. That's only good. Thing. So today itself, please get a handy flash and try to apply onto the surface of the skin. So this is how it is. The stratum corneum is like this, the outermost layer of the skin. Okay. Above this will be the adhesive layer. Okay. And the, this is a reservoir which is present in the center. This is a reservoir which is present in the center. So drug which is present in the reservoir has to cross through the rate limit, rate controlling membrane. So this is a membrane which is going to control the rate of release of the drug. Okay. And once the drug gets released through the rate controlling membrane, it passes through the adhesive and later it comes onto the surface of the stratum corneum from where it is stopped. So this is the whole pattern or flow by which the drug is going to permeate into the skin. And as I told you, if we use like that, it has to go to the deeper layers and then into systemic circulation. And then to the target site. Eventually, that is what is going to happen. Okay. Target site may be the brain in case of CNS drug. Okay. Even in case of painkillers, okay, there are several painkillers which are centrally active. That is, they act on the CNS. They alter the pain threshold, what I can call it as. Okay. So, the, those are, that side of action is the CNS, but as the drug is delivered from the, to the skin. Okay, fentanyl. Okay, which is used in chronic pain, as I told you the other day. Example of such a uh, drug, such a transdermal patch. Patch is for that. Okay, so above this will be the what? Uh, impermeable laminate. What you what you can call it? Okay, this is a backing membrane. The other word says for this is a backing membrane over which there is an imprinting. Imprinting means date of manufacture, expiry date, so on and so. Forth. So this is about what you can call it as the first kind of device, a simple one, that is a reservoir device. All of you are clear? All of you are clear? If you're not clear, yes, I'm not going to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Teacher is telling us, industry is telling us. Okay. So this is how it is going to act. The reservoir device is going to act or function. So this is what when somebody asks you the construction and working of a, a reservoir type polymer membrane permeation system, this is what you're going to write. Okay. Step five you're going to write. Is it clear what it is composed of? It's composed of one, two, three, four layers. Okay. The adhesive layer is the one which is closer to the skin, followed by the rate controlling membrane followed by the drug reservoir, followed by on top of all this will be the drug impermeable laminate. So this is the one which takes on the imprinting. Okay, imprinting is nothing but the product details, whatever it is. Okay, it may be the price tag also. It holds the price tag, it holds the date of manufacture, it holds the date of expiry, so on and so forth. Below that will be the drug reservoir. This is the one which I marked in grey. Are everybody able to see this here? Okay. Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. Ah. So after this will be the rate controlling membrane. So once the drug is released, okay, it is controlled. The rate of release is controlled by the rate controlling membrane. Okay. Which passes through the adhesive. And then finally, it's the stratum corneum. So that is how uh, it happens. Okay. So these are the, the that is regarding what you can call it as the polymer membrane formation control system. Next will be what you can call it as the simpler. This is the next one, the second type of system, okay, which is nothing but a matrix device. 
Yes, it's a very simple device where drug is uniformly dispersed in a polymer matrix. That's it. That's why it's called as drug in polymer matrix. And this, as usual, is a drug impermeable laminate or the backing layer. And this is a stratum cornea. So the matrix is in direct contact with the stratum cornea, as you can see here. Okay. But where will be the adhesive in this? There should be an adhesive. Otherwise, your fat is not going to stick onto the surface of the skin. Otherwise, the contact will not be able, you are not able to establish the contact. That is what is going to happen. Is it clear? So, how that is going to happen? Okay, you can see here. There is something called rim adhesive. Why is it called rim adhesive? Anybody can tell? They are only at the edges of the patches. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Yeah, ma'am. Please repeat. Yeah, correct. Please repeat. Because they are only at the edges of the patches, so they are called uh, rim adhesive. Yes. Okay. Why it's called rim adhesive? Well, is correct. It's only present along the edge. Uh, okay. Along the circumference. For example, yes, if it is a round patch, it is present along the circumference. If it is a square patch, it is again present along the edges. Okay. Yes. Are you able to understand? Yes? Is everybody clear? Yes, sir. Uh, so the adhesive is present only, only along the circumference or the edges. Okay. Because of which it is holding on to the surface of the skin. Otherwise, what will happen is, as you can see here, the matrix containing the, the polymeric matrix containing the drug is directly in contact with the stratum corneum. And the matrix itself acts as a rate controlling device okay that's why i told you in the beginning itself i told you there are two types of system one is the reservoir system the other is the matrix system is it clear yes are you able to understand yes sir huh? so things are clear now tell me more high yes sir uh -huh. so these are the basic two types of what you can call the transdermal patch. And there is a third type of patches which most of the companies would prefer or love to have. That is the drug in additive device. Very important because you can see that. Okay, as, as always I keep telling, any pharmaceutical company okay, will go for what you can call it as a simplest device, simplest possible device. So the manufacturing is not cumbersome. Manufacturing is not tedious. That is what most of the companies do support. Okay. Here you can see that the adhesive itself will act as a matrix. Here. So what you can see in gray that contains the drug directly dispersed in the adhesive. Okay. It may be also present as solid solid solution also. People would have studied, okay, in your physical pharmaceutics, you would have studied, okay, solid solid solution. Okay, one solid getting dispersed in the other solid. Have you heard of it? Yes. Interfacial phenomena? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Ah, so there are uh, your teacher would have told you solid solid solution where one solid goes and dissolves in the other solid. Okay, so that is what happens here. Drug in adhesive, maybe one solid may get dispersed or dissolved in the other solid and forms what you can call it as drug in adhesive. This is a matrix. This is a matrix device again. Okay, but only thing is it has this component. What is the component? What is the component? Adhesive. Ah, it is adhesive. Just like, for example, most of the girls who people wear bindi spa. Okay. 
Yes. All of you do that? Most of you? Or some of you don't do nowadays? Yes. Lakme has. Uh, tell me some of the brands now. Hmm? Girls don't know the brand. Yes. Any particular brand for bindis? There's nothing called designer bindis. It's there or no? Yes, sir. Ah. Huh? So, so it's something like that. For example, okay. I'm not complicating things. Just to make you have a feel. Okay. So what is done there? For example, we have a drug uniformly dispersed in that. This is what is going to happen. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Yes, sir. Uh, so above that will be the laminate. It may be made up of aluminum foil or a plastic. Any one of these. Any one of these will be the laminate. Is it clear now? Yes. Shall you move forward? Yes, sir. Uh, so, which is the simplest one? What you have encountered so far? Drug in adhesive, sir. Uh, okay. So, this is the simplest form of what kind of device it is, basically. What kind of device? Whenever you talk about controlled drug delivery system or modified drug delivery system, basically there are two types of devices, as I told you. Okay. Yes. What are the two types? Nobody knows the answer. Do people know or don't know? Yes. Yes or no? Hello? What are the two types of devices? Matrix Clear? Are you able to hear me? Hear my question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, you are telling the correct answer also. Tell loudly. Drug in adhesive is a matrix kind only, sir. Only where the uh, the ah, yeah, it's a matrix type. But basically, somebody asks you about only controlled drug delivery system. What are the two types of devices? What we discussed. Yes? Nobody knows. Again, it is so difficult. Reservoir device and matrix device. I really don't know whether all of you have logged in or uh, really people are just uh, connected and uh, left also. I am not able to make out if you don't uh, interact. Okay. Uh, very feel laborious to take the class. The way of interaction is like that. Okay. Always keep telling, even for my own class. Uh, it's not a mandate that all of you, uh, okay, log in and enter and uh, do these things. Yes. Once you are on the virtual platform or the online platform, you are supposed to talk. Okay. Many of you after this year will join some companies. I'm very sure for that matter. Okay. And how will you interact with your bosses to, to do this way? Yes. You got to interact. You got to say yes or no. Otherwise, how it is possible? Huh? Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, so it's better that you people interact. Make it a habit to interact. Have an opportunity to use the online platform in your graduation level itself. Okay. Because once you go for a job, for example, you may work for an MNC. Who knows? Okay. Your boss may be somewhere in the US. And new people are sitting here. And how will you interact? We are not used to that. So there is an experience for you. Okay, make use of it. 
I'm not going to tell more. Okay. So don't want me to repeat it in three point seven. Okay. So the next type of uh, uh, device what you encounter will be what you can call it as it's the simplest device again, uh, not a cumbersome device, but a modification of the previous one. Okay. As you can see, okay, this is known as gradient system or gradient, what you can call it as controlled gradient control transformer transformer system. So as you can see here, okay, there are three layers. This again is a bit complicated one. Okay, there are three layers of system, and again the what you can call it as a concentration of the drug, as you can see there, uh, is highest in the topmost layer, lowest in the bottommost layer. And followed by this a layer of adhesive which comes very close to the skin. This is what will happen. And basically it's a matrix device again. And here, for example, everything depends on the seasonal part length. That is what how far uh, to what extent, what is the length of the fusion? That is what is known as the seasonal part length. Okay. So when it is close to the skin, what will happen is the fusional part length is less. When it is further from the skin, Diffusional part length is more. So if it is further more, the diffusional part length is still more. So according to that, the concentration of the drug is manipulated or adjusted. So in the nearmost layer, as you can see here, the amount of drug that is loaded will be less. As you go further away, the amount of drug that will be loaded is more and more. Is it clear? Yes. Are you good to understand? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. And so the rate of release, for example, as you can see, is based on the diffusional part length. Okay. So R1 will be more than R2 will be more than R3. So it's a bit what you can call the variation from the previous system. But the most commonly encountered system, okay, even in transdermal drug delivery system or the previous, the first two. And even the third, the third is the most simplest. Drug and addition point is the most simplest of all the systems. Now moving on to the last kind of system, what I want to finish today is what you can call that micro reservoir kind of system. As you can see, this is a micro reservoir where drug is uniformly dispersed in a micron size. That is what will be happening. Okay. Yes. And the rest of the construction will be remaining the same as a drug in additive method. So drug is uniformly dispersed in a micron. This is a stratum corneum. This is the ring material system. Here, drug may be dispersed in micron size. Inside, and it may be an emulsion also sometimes. It may be an emulsion. So it's called a micro reservoir type of transdermal drug delivery. So it is usually uh, for drugs which may not be readily soluble, things like that. Okay, so those drugs uh, can be entrapped in. Again, it is a bit complicated type of system, which is rarely you can encounter. But the most commonly used to go back is the first three types of system. This is the one. This is the best one what you can encounter. Okay, very simple device. Any ma manufacturer would love to manufacture this. Okay, because it is so simple. Okay, and the next one is even this is okay. Okay, but again it requires a lot of a lot of add-ons. Okay, and this is a, again a bit of complicated system where a number of layers have to be overlaid one over the other. That's what will happen. Okay, topmost is one layer followed by the drug reservoir followed by the rate controlling membrane followed by the adhesive. So this many layers are there. I have to name it, there are one, two, three, and four layers are there. That's what is this system composed of. Whereas in case of the next one, okay, it's direct contact. Only two layers are there, except other than the adhesive. And the most simplest one, only two layers is of this system. Okay, which has the addition also. Everything is embedded or put together in one system. So this is the most simplest of all the transdermal drug delivery. Is it clear? All of you understood about the concepts today? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Is it fine with all of you? Yes, sir. 
Uh, under two discharge injection, only fetal is telling yes, sir. I don't know about the rest of you people. Yes? Hello? Yeah, we'll see in the next class month. Okay? Yes? Thank you and take care. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello? Ah, yeah, ma. Please go ahead. Hmm. Ah.